What is a logical consequence? In this explainer, we answer that question. An inference from one or more sentences is either logically justified or not. When it is justified, the inference is also called logically correct or valid. Let's talk about what that means. A logically justified inference is one that, given the premise or premises, cannot be falsified. Here are some examples. Take the following argument. A is older than B, B is older than C, so A is older than C. Whatever numbers you want to plug in to replace the word older will be such that A always comes out to be older than C. In other words, when the premises A is older than B, B is older than C are true, we can't falsify the inference to the statement A is older than C. Here's another example. A is to the left of B, B is to the left of C, so A is to the left of C. If you diagram out the premises, there won't be any arrangement that preserves the truth of the relation left of that would allow you to falsify the conclusion. Lastly, Los Angeles is in California or New York. It is not the case that Los Angeles is in New York, so Los Angeles is in California. By rejecting one side of the disjunction, we're left with the other side. In other words, we eliminate one side of the disjunction and we're left with the sentence, Los Angeles is in California. How do we understand non-consequence? In other words, how are we supposed to understand when it is the case that a claim is not the logical consequence of one or more other claims. Well, if you can falsify the conclusion of an argument without thereby contradicting the truth of the premises, the inference is not logically justified. So, the way that we test for validity or the way that we test for logical consequence is by seeing whether or not we can falsify the conclusion without thereby falsifying one or more of the premises. Here are some examples. A is older than B, A is older than C, so B is older than C. Suppose that age A is age 20, B is 19, and C is also 19. When we take those numbers, we've preserved the truth of our premises, but we've shown that B can be false. We can also draw a diagram to show that the conclusion of this argument can be falsified. Notice that A is to the left of B, A is to the left of C, but it's not the case that B is to the left of C. A less intuitive example is this one. A attended Pierce College or UCLA. A attended Pierce College, so A did not attend UCLA. The reason why this one tends to be tricky is because we think of the or as exclusive, as in you can have super salad with the assumption, but not both. That's not the case, however, in logic. Think about it this way. Suppose it's true that A attended Pierce College. We can infer from this that A attended Pierce or UCLA. In other words, all that's required to make the or sentence true is that at least one of the sentences in the disjunction is true. So as long as A attended Pierce it follows that A attended Pierce or UCLA. So knowing that A attended Pierce College doesn't tell us anything about whether or not A did attend UCLA. I hope this explainer that answers the question, what is a logical consequence, has been helpful.